So something that often goes hand in hand with a life-saving station is a lighthouse. See, these two things often are found in the exact same places. So you have a life-saving station where people literally go into the water and rescue people who are drowning, but you'll also have a lighthouse that produces light to warn ships like, hey, you're about to crash, you're about to hit the rocks, look out, turn your ship. So we're actually downtown Detroit right now, and I'm like, what in the world is there a lighthouse doing in the middle of Detroit? We're along the river, and I'm seeing this lighthouse. So I looked into it a little bit, and what I found out is this lighthouse lighthouse right here is actually a, a, a replica of an actual functioning lighthouse that's up in this place called Tawas, Michigan, a couple hours north of here on Lake Huron, where it's been there since it was built in 1876. They built this lighthouse where for, for over a hundred years it's been shining this light. The light from this lighthouse literally goes over 16 miles out into the lake. So if you're a ship coming in, you can see it from miles and miles away because the light is so strong and so bright. Well, what they did is they made a replica of that lighthouse. They made a smaller version and they put it right here on the river walk in Detroit. And it's crazy because the thing about this lighthouse is though it looks really good and though it looks like a lighthouse and though it looks like it could save people's lives and though it's right on the water and so a ship coming in could be like, oh, that's cool, a lighthouse. But the problem is, is this lighthouse doesn't actually produce light. And as a result of that, it doesn't actually save anyone's life. I think a lot of times that's what happens to us as followers of Christ. God has given us this mission to shine light. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. And if we're the light of the world, in order to rescue people and give people light, we actually have to shine the light. We actually have to, we have to bring them the hope of Jesus. We have to show them that Jesus is what they need. In a dark place, if you want to bring light spiritually, you have to bring Jesus to that place. If you're not giving people the love of Jesus with the message of Jesus, then you're not producing light, and you're probably just like this lighthouse here. You know, it looks really, really good. It's never going to save anyone's life.